Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly create a paper call campaign based on what you scraped, so the URLs that you scraped, and also using SpyFu. So in this case, we scraped all these keywords, and I'm going to start up here with Roto Rooter and work my way down. And what I'm looking for is their ad copy. Very important here is you don't want to try to recreate the will. Um, I would say you don't want to entirely copy the will either, but at, at the same time, why not uh, find something that's already working? So in this case, this is working. Expert plumbers available 24/7, even nights and weekends. Call now. But if this, if you were to convert this into a call only campaign, if you wanted, if you chose to run it, or you can run it this way as well as a text ad. But if you wanted to uh, convert it as a call only campaign, you would say call uh, the number, your business. Uh, uh, name and so forth and you can easily convert this now one thing I want to uh, be clear there's a lot of different uh, Roto Rooter for example is a national brand so they, they're advertising just about everywhere San Antonio you have Aurora Colorado Buffalo New York so once again back to my very first video is knowing the demographics in San Antonio and breaking San Antonio so if you're going to be advertising for example in San Antonio you want to break that down and you want to understand, hey, in San Antonio, there's only certain zip codes that I'm going to advertise in. So you want to get that ahead of time. You want to make sure that's ahead of time before you do that. Also, um, when you have everything set, you have everything ready to go, all you have to do is export these. It's going to let you export the top 200 as a CSV file. So you'll be able to export all these. And the way it looks when it's exported is right here. And you can see the keyword here. and the daily clicks, the cost per click, the coverage, uh, the position of the actual ad, the title of the ad. Uh, so this is Roto Rooter Plumbers, Roto Rooter Plumbers, uh, pretty pretty well branded name. Everybody knows Roto Rooter, so but you can take a look at their uh, different ad copy and so forth. And you can see how they run. So they have the same keyword and a lot of different ad copy. Now, one thing I like to separate here. So that I know, you know, what's working, what's not working, is you can separate this by position. So position one, for example, for, for the keyword plumbing, uh, now this is based on quality score. There's a lot of things that are happening, but 24-7 plumbing call now for service in and near Grand Rapids. So obviously this is Grand Rapids area. So if you're running this ad for plumbing, and with this ad copy, you want to make sure that you're running it for the correct uh zip codes in Grand Rapids. That just takes you back to my first uh, first video in this series. So now that we know that, we go back here and we take the next one and control C, we bring it up here and we wanna go ahead and see what their ad history is for this ARS.com site. So execute or enter I mean, and it's thinking and it's gonna grab the same information, but just for ARS. So a lot less ads are being driven by this company, but still, there's still a lot of good uh, Houston plumber, plumber coupons, air conditioning, awesome, air conditioning repair, awesome, and so forth. So you can see the different ad copy up here and you can export these as well. So now I have two, and I just wanna break this, I wanna show you here. This is uh, the ARS.com. And what I did is, I, I earlier what I did was uh, just, I want to see all the number one positioned ads. You can do that right away by doing this. But once again, you, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of work of kind of cutting and pasting. But at the same time, this allows you to get all these great keywords here as well and allows you to figure out, hey, which ads should I be running? Now, of course, you can't offer with a paper call offer normally unless you're done direct. Uh, you have a direct contract with a plumber, for example. You really can't offer $75 off. If, for example, you're running with Ring Partner, but you could easily say, well, an indie local plumbers, this is plumbing service in Indianapolis, call for fast response, 24/7 free diagnostic service call. So if I were running this, I would in Indianapolis once again, I would go into Indianapolis, I would search the zip codes within Indianapolis to make sure I'm advertising in the correct spots. And uh, this cost per click is wrong. Uh, they just don't have enough data. I mean, if you scroll down, if we scroll down here, you'll see that, you know, the cost per click gets a little bit more expensive. Tankless water heaters, Houston, 
So people are looking for a tankless water heater. Now, this is just really good ad copy here. Save $150 on your new water heater. Now, you don't know that unless you get on the phone, you do a test call with your offer and see what kind of discounts they can give you. Maybe you can offer it that. I would say talk to your affiliate manager before you start offering any type of discounts or anything like that, though. But these call now for fast response, 24-7 free water heater service. You know, these type of ads you can run all day long right off the bat for the same keyword. So that's kind of how I, uh, I just want to show you. Now, I do this for every single one of them because I want, to, I want to get as many keywords as I possibly can. But like I said, as you're getting these keywords, so, you know, I would uh, American Vintage Chump, that's probably not. I would say a, it could be a uh, plumbing company, but may not be, but bannerplumbing.com or, for example, plumberinkchicago.net. We'll just take a look at them real quick, and we'll just plug them right in here. And execute, and you can see they are running some ads as well, and you can see the ads that they're running. So if you're running a lot of ads in Chicago, for example, you're just doing local SEO, what we scraped earlier is perfect for you because you have all the keywords that are run, currently being run and you can just convert all these into call only ads right off the bat. But when you're doing this, you want to make sure you're running all these with um, uh, broad match modifiers. Also, and one of the most important things, one of the things I left out, which I'll probably get to in my next video, is negative keywords. Negative keywords are extremely profitable for Google and only for Google, not for you. Negative keywords need to be in your campaign because if you run this blindly, just plumbing, uh, without any type of negative keywords in there, then you are just giving your money away. So in the next video, what I'll, I'll show you is how to extract the best, absolute best negative keywords to protect yourself and to save a ton of money. So uh, that's it for now. Hopefully you, uh, you like this information and continue reading my blog.